This problem was posed to me uh, earlier this morning. Uh, it's a chapter one. It's an even problem. It's uh, number 82. So if we look here, it says um, the properties of a mixture are typically averages of the properties of the components of that mixture. Uh, the pr properties of a compound may differ dramatically from the properties of elements that combine to produce the compound. Um, so in, in other words, right, a compound is totally different than what its parents were, okay? And a mixture is the average of its parents, if you can think about it that way, okay? So like, for example, sugar water is a mixture, right? Because sugar is sweet and water is wet and it's a liquid. And so if you mix those things together, you get sugar water, which is wet and sweet. And that's kind of an average of those qualities. Does everybody get that? A compound, on the other hand, like water, if you combine hydrogen gas and oxygen gas to get water, right? Water has totally different physical properties than hydrogen gas or oxygen gas, okay? Right, if I breathe water, I don't live, you know what I'm saying? Things like that, okay? So uh, that's what this first paragraph is actually saying. Um, so then it's saying, for each process described below, state whether the material being discussed is most likely a mixture, a compound, or a compound, pardon me, and state whether the process is a chemical change or a physical change. So it says, uh, part A says, an orange liquid is distilled resulting in the collection of a yellow liquid and a red liquid, okay? So it was orange before. Do you, anybody know what distilling is? What's distilling? Somebody tell me. Nobody knows? Anybody ever drank like a <coughs> vodka or any sort of alcoholic beverage before? How do you think they produce that alcoholic beverage? Take a wild guess. Somebody tell me. <laughs> By distillation, okay? That's how they did that, okay? Well, anyway, so what is distillation? Distillation is like uh, the separation of the components of a mixture, if, especially if they're liquid-liquid components. So if you have a mixture of two different liquids, like ethanol and water, you can distill that and concentrate one of those liquids, i.e. ethanol. That's how you get like vodka or whatever, okay? So if anybody's ever heard of like moonshine or like the still in grandpa's sh back shack or whatever, that's what he was doing is he was separating these two liquids after he had fermented his whatever, his fermenting stuff, his potatoes or whatever he did, right? So anyway, so orange, so we're distilling, right? So what does that mean? We're separating two what? Two liquids, right? Okay, two liquids that are, co uh, that are together, okay? So that, those two liquids are orange, right, together, and when we distill it, we get a red liquid, and, let's make sure I'm doing this right, and, uh, sorry, a red solid, and a yellow liquid. Okay, so is orange, uh, orange, this would be like orange aqueous or, well, not aqueous, orange liquid, we'll say. Orange liquid is kind of the combination of a red solid and a yellow liquid. Does that make sense? Right, if you mix yellow and, and red, you're going to get orange, okay? And if you dissolve a solid into a liquid, it's going to be a liquid mixture, a solution. Does that make sense to everybody? not make sense to anyone. <laughs> it's pretty difficult, I know, <laughs> especially at 8 o'clock in the morning, but anyways. Um, so B says a colorless, everybody's done this problem, I assume, right? That's the thing. So uh, a colorless crystalline solid is decomposed, yielding a pale yellow-green gas and a soft, shiny metal. So it says colorless, so Usually it's like white when it says that. It says it's decomposed. That kind of gives you a, a clue as to what's going on. And so you get some yellow-green gas. 
and a sh soft, shiny metal. <coughs> right? So what do you think happened there? Somebody tell me, or I'll just, uh, I'm not going to do anything. I don't know. Yeah, it's a chemical change. How do you know that? Well, first of all, yeah, it tells you it's decomposed. That's a chemical change already, okay? But the products are not an average of what the initial starting material was, okay? And then C is a cup of tea becomes sweeter as sugar is added to it. What is that? Do I have to write that down? Let's, let's do it, okay? Tea, right, is, well, we'll do it as a liquid, right? plus sugar as a solid. These are like rudimentary chemical equations is what we're doing here, okay? That goes to sweet tea as, well, as it's a solution, but we'll, for right now we'll just call it liquid, okay? So is this a combination of these two things? Yeah, so that's a mixture, right? Mixture. So it's just the combination. So this is a mixture of these things, right? So mixture. This is a mixture. Um, this, it's hard to tell, but this, from the problem, the way the problem is stating, it sounds like these are both pure, pure compounds, okay? Okay, and then this one uh, it also sounds like a pure compound. Uh, these could potentially be elements or other compounds, okay, but they're definitely pure substances, or at least <laughs> by the way the problem describes them. Okay. Any questions on that stuff? Pretty straightforward, right? Mixtures and compounds.